equestrian friends. It is me, Lisa, the budget equestrian, and I am back with another video. And today I wanted to share with you what it's really like a day in my life when I'm at home with my horses. And the first thing that I have to do almost daily is clean the stalls. So I thought it would be fun to show you. This is how I clean stalls. If you have your own horse or you take lessons and you don't have to mess around with cleaning stalls, consider yourself lucky. But cleaning stalls isn't that bad and I usually do it probably once a day, sometimes once every other day, just depending on what the weather's like. And after the stalls are all picked out, then I get to put in some new shavings. And I really do like the pine shavings because it does make a nice bed for them. It's not as absorbent as some other beddings, but it works pretty well. And my horses seem to like it pretty well too. And after the inside stalls are clean, then I usually will rake their paddocks a little bit. And when I was doing this, it had actually rained the night before, so there really isn't a lot of manure in the pens. Most of it's just some little dirt clods. We have really clay soil where we live, and it tends to get like little dirt clods. So I do like to keep the pens raked because it cuts down on the mud and it just looks better. And it's a lot easier if I stay up on it and continually keep the pens well groomed. And once the wheelbarrow is all filled up with manure, I have to dump it. So I take it out around back of my little red barn and that's where we dump the manure. I like having it back here because it does keep it away from the horses and the flies aren't quite as bad, which helps to keep the flies away from the horses and their stalls. And once I had the stalls and the pens clean, then I wanted to really work in my arena. So, and I had some jumps that were up in my arena that needed to come down because I wanted to like really clean the arena really well. And it makes it a lot easier if the jumps are not up in the arena. And sometimes there are some messes in the arena from the horses. Sometimes I'll turn them out here. And before I bring the tractor with the drag out, it makes it a lot easier and it looks a lot better if I pick up the manure first. And there are some areas where weeds tend to grow. So I actually broke down and picked up a lot of the weeds. I'm not gonna say I pulled them all, but I did pull a big portion of the weeds. And then I was able to bring out the tractor and really groom the arena and kind of tear up the dirt a little bit so I can work more with Frisbee. But 
It's really fun having this big of a tractor because I can usually get the arena all groomed and looking great in about 20 to 30 minutes. And my arena isn't anything fancy, it's just sand, but it works for us, so I'm really happy and I feel very fortunate that I have my own arena that I can work with my horses. It's so beautiful. And now to keep it beautiful, I shut the gates. This is what I should do every time, but sometimes I leave them open and let the horses go out there because they really enjoy running around and playing in the sand as well. But if I want to keep it looking nice and manure free, I do need to keep the gates shut. Just like that. And another chore that needs to be done periodically is to clean out the water tanks. And I don't know if you can see in this water tank, but there is some algae in the bottom. I think it's because of the tank being in the sun and because it's so hot, it, the algae tends to grow pretty rapidly. And once I clean it out, then I can put it back. And I don't know if you can see, but we actually have a panel cut out so the water tank fits nicely between both of the horse's pens. And while I'm filling up the big water tank, I also clean out and fill up the little five gallon buckets that I have in their stalls. So they have access to the big water tank outside and then they each have a five gallon bucket in their stalls, which I like because then I can kind of keep track of how much water each horse is drinking in his stall. And these Burlington bucket holders are awesome in the summer, but they're supposed to be bucket insulators. They don't insulate very well in the winter. Then I had the horses out enjoying the pasture while I was working in the barn and in their stalls. And after I had those chores done, then it was time to fill up the hay nets. And right now I think I have like 20 or 24 hay nets. And that might seem extreme, that might seem like a lot for two horses, but they go through four hay nets a day between the two of them. And it just makes it a lot easier if I have a lot of hay nets and I have them full. So in the mornings, it makes it a lot easier for feeding and the evening time as well. But I really like to have the hay nets ready for the morning more than anything, because I actually have more time in the evening that I can spend with the horses. And after all the hay nets were filled and ready for the upcoming week, then I swept up the excess hay so that the floor is nice and clean. And put everything away and where it belongs in my tack room, or I guess I should call it the tack side of my barn because my tack room and my feed room are in the same building. And sometimes when I get done riding, I'm just tired and I want to go inside, so I just kind of throw things in the front of the barn. And I really should take the extra effort and put everything away because everything does have a place in my barn. So that's one of my goals that I'm going to be working on is to put things away when I'm done using them. I mean, it is nice and clean, and it just looks so much better when everything is put away. It's easy to find when everything is put away, and it's just a really good habit to get into. While some people have cleaning videos showing you how they clean their house and spend the day cleaning, 
I wanted to share with you how I clean my barn and what it's like to have horses on your own property. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots of other horse related and DIY videos. Thanks for watching.